Uh, this is so. This is my first time in Malta, and this is my second EPT ever. And I'm really impressed by the venue. I'm impressed by the location they picked. Um, Malta is such a pretty island. I didn't expect that. Um, the food is amazing. Nightclubs, um, drinking. There's so much to do after you bust a tournament. And actually, they don't really give you a lot of chances to uh, do nothing because there's so many tournaments <laughs> during the whole series. You have like five tournaments a day pretty much. Um, I did not hear about the Battle of Malta before this trip and uh, I would love to make it to next year. And I suggest everybody to um, show up for that event. So this summer I got my biggest uh, cash ever. I got second in the 1500 WSOP event uh, in Vegas. And I punted pretty hard, pretty hard heads up. Um, I decided to bluff an opponent, my opponent heads up, and uh, with a hand that had no equity. And I obviously regret that, I don't know what I was thinking. But I feel like I'm going to have a lot of chances to redeem myself over the next years, hopefully. Uh, I get asked a lot about sexism in poker, how I feel, uh, how guys make, make us feel at the table, if like poker rooms can make things different, if people can act different at the table. And uh, I honestly never thought of it as an issue before the summer where we had, uh, where there was this group who created a Twitter account and started like posting a bunch of stuff about every single girl that plays poker pretty much. Pictures, <laughs> naked pictures, a ton of stuff that shouldn't be uh, on social media. And um, I honestly I feel like they, this group of people, they just were, and also every guy that uh, has a problem with women playing poker, they're just pretty much uh, jealous of the fact that most women in poker get sponsorships, most women in poker get more attention, uh, even with a lot less earnings than what normal guys have. So that's the main problem, I think.